All right, guys, welcome back. Chief Kirk for Carbology. So today we're talking a little bit about uh, philosophically how you address or how we think about addressing threats. Um, and one of the things we talk about in class here is the concept of if you have to make a choice uh, between principles, what principles should you optimize? So generally I'll start the class by saying something like this. Uh, which principle is most important in Krav Maga? Is it addressing the danger? Is it the counterattack? Is it the control? Is it the finish? Uh, and people will go, oh, it's, you know, this, and was, the answer is the one you're on, right? Having said that, when you're dealing with weapons um, and you're having to make a decision around whether or not you're going to make an optimal addressing of the danger or whether or not you're going to make an optimal counterattack, because both of those are very powerful uh, elixirs in the self defense um, uh, sort of punch bowl. Um, I tend to try to get people to think this way. If a suboptimal addressing the danger creates a wound for you that is um, substantial, you have to optimize your addressing the danger and you have to figure out how to sort of drop into or otherwise manage what you feel like is a suboptimal um, counterattack. The reason you feel the counterattack is suboptimal is because you've done something during the addressing of the danger that's created a, a movement or a structure in you that's not um, optimal for counterattack. So I'll, I'll give you an example. James is going to come in, and we're going to line up right here, James. Go ahead. He's going to put the gun in my head. I'll walk in so you can see this. <clears throat> I would like to be able to throw my hand up and pull the gun off and stay in the center line to make this punch go in. I'm going to lift my hand here, parallel with my shoulder for a powerful punch. The truth is, though, I need to pull my head straight off as if I'm taking my chin to the inside blade of my knee. It's the most efficient way to get off the line of fire. The other issue is, as I start my hand, at some point he's going to see my hand coming at the gun right here, particularly because he's looking through here, right? It's this view right here. So, as a general rule, as soon as I feel or sense my hand is moving, I'm going to pull my head off. And in slow motion, it looks like this. There goes the hand and the head comes off. So as I get to this position, my head is off the line of fire. I think you can see that. So I have to grab the gun and make my defense now without worrying about redirecting with my arm because I've already done that with my head, right? That would be different than doing this, right? Which would be very suboptimal. But by shifting left like this, right? By doing this, I'm in a really awkward position, right? So we'll talk later about how to fix this. But generally speaking, we have to deal with this because the redirection of the gun optimally is more important, right? So for the purposes of our discussion today, what I want you to understand is this. If a edge weapon or a handgun or a long gun are involved, um, something that can dramatically hurt you, uh, injure you, you have to optimize um, the addressing of that danger. And then you have to think through, how am I going to now get back into position to make a powerful yet maybe suboptimal counterattack. So we'll cover that next week, but for this week, think in those terms. Conversely, real quickly, if I'm doing an inside defense, I might do this, and I might not move my head at all, right? I might not do this. If I do this, I shift the weight in my left foot, I have to shift back to make a powerful counterattack. That'll, that, that delays me, now the left hook is coming, things that I'm having a problem all of a sudden. So I might invert this uh, concept. If it was just an inside defense, I'd be in this position. In fact, this is what I do. I have enough confidence in my inside defense I peel the carrot here, boom, I rotate, I get my weight into my shoulder, boom, and I come straight in with my counterattack. Um, so the concept of the priorities are reversed there. So weapons versus other things. You have to make these determinations for yourself, but I want you to start thinking in this way. Until next time, walk in peace.